What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. In 2013, the Mark Gordon Company announced they were developing The Chronicles of Narnia, The Silver Chair. Screenwriter David McGee and director Joe Johnston later joined the project, but nine years later, fans are still waiting for the fourth Narnia film. The good news is that the wait is over. The bad news, according to some, is that Netflix is saving the franchise. Without any further ado, here's everything we know about it. The Chronicles of Narnia Before we jump jump into some exciting details regarding the fourth film in the franchise, we first need to go back a little. The Chronicles of Narnia is, as some would say, a perfect franchise. One of the main reasons for a lot of people saying this is that the franchise focused on quality rather than money and only money, which is sadly the case with a lot of sequels, prequels, and reboots nowadays. Let's be honest, the studios are only interested in more money, hence the millions of sequels. Entering a whole new world, Narnia was loved by many. So, what went wrong? It has been a decade since we got another Narnia movie. Is there any chance Netflix could save the franchise? Let's do a quick backstory. The Chronicles of Narnia is a book series by the famed author C.S. Lewis that was published in the 1950s. In total, seven books were published, and throughout the years, fans have witnessed several adaptations. Narnia was adapted into a BBC series, a radio series, and the most familiar one, the Disney movies adaptation. Disney started adapting the books back in 2005 in a collaboration with Walden Media. The first film, named The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, was released more than a decade ago. The second Narnia film also came from Disney, with a third movie being distributed by 20th Century Fox. So, why did Fox and Disney give up? What exactly happened and why is Netflix saving the franchise? Let's find out. Chronicles of Narnia 4 Attempts As we previously said, the first two Narnia movies were produced by Walden Media and Disney. However, Disney gave up the franchise and wasn't involved in making of the third Narnia film. Instead, Fox is completely in charge of the third film. And while we never saw a continuation, the fourth film was considered. In 2011, it was announced that the Chronicles Chronicles of Narnia will be based on the sixth book, The Magician's Nephew, serving as a prequel. But later, the same year, Walden had lost the movie rights, which indicated that Narnia 4 is not happening in the near future. In 2013, C.S. Lewis Company made a deal with the Mark Gordon Company. They had a big plan for the fourth film of the franchise, The Silver Chair. Douglas Gresham, Vincent Cyber, and Mark Gordon were set as producers, with David McGee in the writer's chair. In 2017, in 2017, it was announced that Joe Johnston will serve as the director for the very anticipated film. Director Joe Johnston said the movie would be set apart from the films in the other trilogy, a statement that made fans quite angry. Let's jump into more details, shall we? What is Narnia 4 about? The first few pages of the book focus mostly on Jill. For those of you who are not familiar, Jill Poole was the daughter of Eve who helped find Prince Rylan, son of Cass an ex of Narnia. According to the screenwriter David McGee, one of the most difficult things while writing the fourth film was fleshing out Jill's backstory for the film in a way that builds upon and honors the original book. As he says, it's not clear what Jill has been bullied about, it's not clear what happened leaning up to that moment, and it's not clear what the context is. As director Joe Johnston and The Silver Chair would present the beginnings of a brand new trilogy because of this statement, fans are kind of scared about what to expect from Netflix and its involvement in Narnia. Thankfully, we have more details. Matthew Aldrich is the creative architect. Back in 2019, it was revealed that the co-writer for Disney Pixar's Coco, which is a praised animated film, will be working on Narnia. In a tweet, Netflix sees What's Next account said that Matthew Aldrich will serve as a creative architect for Narnia. In January 2020, Narnia Web informed fans that even Doug Douglas Gresham, the stepson of C.S. Lewis, doesn't know a lot about the production of the fourth film. When asked about an update on the fourth film produced by Netflix and the C.S. Lewis company, he said he couldn't say very much. In his own words, I don't know whether Netflix is ready to rock and roll on this or not, but we will find 
turned out in due course. In June 2020, Narnia Webb shared an interview with the manager of Matthew Aldridge who said that Netflix will probably follow a kid's perspective. Characters come from understanding people. Sometimes it's about having children. Matt Aldridge can write kids right now because he has kids and he talks to them and he's trying to figure them out, he explained. With a bumpy road, the fourth film of Narnia is highly anticipated despite constantly changing its course. What we know for sure is that the pandemic has stood in the way of Narnia, with the entire film industry stopping in 2020. Netflix France is the only page that shared more updates, with the last update being on March 14, 2021. Back then, the source said that the titles are still in development. This brings us to the next question. Is Netflix Chronicles of Narnia movies happening? Yes, Netflix said that they will develop new series and film projects based on C.S. Lewis, The Chronicles of Narnia series. Under the terms of a multi-year deal between Netflix and the C.S. Lewis company, the streaming giant will develop classic stories from across the Narnia universe into series and films for its members worldwide. Mark Gordon, the producer on the project, is way into making the series, so we are surely getting a Netflix treat sooner or later. As previously mentioned, Matthew Aldridge is the creative architect of the Netflix adaptation, which according to us, sounds great. It was also mentioned that Netflix would be adapting Narnia into a universe, making the series something like the Game of Thrones and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is, according to most fans, quite disappointing. With Mark Gordon, Douglas Jessam, and Vincent Cyber involved with the upcoming Netflix Narnia projects, we can surely expect something original. The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe is the first movie we know of Narnia, but The Magician's Nephew book serves as a prequel, and we believe Netflix will start with it. Now, let's see when we should expect to see Netflix's adaptation of the beloved Narnia franchise. Netflix Chronicles of Narnia release date. Netflix's Chronicles of Narnia is still under development, and some unofficial reports claim that the series will be released sometime in late 2022 or the very beginning of 2023. Because producing Narnia is not easy given all these special effects, we believe Netflix will take its time to produce the show and films. We think Netflix will begin with the production of the Chronicles of Narnia reboot in 2022, and if they speed things up, the reboot might be released in 2023. What's confirmed is that Netflix's Chronicles of Narnia will definitely be a reboot of the series and fans should not expect the franchise to continue right where it left us. The main reason the fourth film was excluded from most companies was the fact that the third film, called Voyage of the Dawn Trader, was a major flop at the box office. Most fans wonder if Netflix will destroy the franchise, so we have to ask if you agree. What we would love is if Netflix started with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the first book published, and the most loved film of the franchise. There's a lot to be announced, and when we hear more info about Netflix's Narnia, we'll make sure you'll be the first to be informed. On a related note, what are your thoughts on Netflix adapting Narnia? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.